Question nine says, suppose you have two matrices A and B given to you. Find an elementary matrix E such that E times A gives you B. So first of all, remember, when we're talking about elementary matrix, that matrix is resulted, obtained from identity matrix, in this case, identity matrix of uh, size three. All right. So what is that matrix that you multiply by A gives you B back? Take a look at A and B. The very first row of A is 1, 2, negative 3. The very first row of B is negative 1, 2, and 0. The last row of A is negative 1, 2, 0. And the last row of B is 1, 2, 3. So it seems that the first row and the last row, they are switched. A and B are related in that sense that R1 and R3 are switched or interchanged. So we can define this elementary matrix by switching the first row and the last row of identity matrix. So here you have 0, 0, 1. This is now R3, which becomes R1, 0, 1, 0. And then here, this guy is 1, 0. This is that elementary matrix. You can always check your work. B is 0, 0, 1 times 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, multiplied by A, which is 1, 0, negative 1. 2, 1, 2, negative 3, 2, and 0. This guy is equal to. So the first row multiplied by the first column. The dot product between these two vectors is negative 1. The dot product between these two vectors, 2. The dot product between these two vectors, 0. The dot product between the second row and first column, it is 0. This guy and this guy, 1. This guy and this guy. Two. And finally, the last vector. This is your row vector multiplied by column vector. The dot product gives you one, then it gives you two, then it gives you negative three, which is basically what you have for B. So EA is B. You're done.